Next, we've got a couple of outline options, outline edge and outline cavity. We'll go ahead and start with outline edge. We're going to go open up back our BPR filter area. So we've already done our flat shaded, and now we're just going to add an outline. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make a new filter. We're going to turn that on. And by default, it's set to blur. Let's go ahead and choose outline edge. Now, right away, you can see it's set to negative 50. The more you go negative, the darker it's going to be. And the more you go positive, the lighter it's going to be. And really what's determining that is your back and your front color. So essentially negative is your back color, positive is your front color. You can feel free to change this to whatever you'd like, get whatever kind of effect you want. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick to our outline edge being a black color. Now, if it's going to be like a pencil sketch and you don't want it to be like an ink sketch, you can make this a little bit lighter. And you can also go in here to your modifiers and you can thicken that up a little bit. So there's a bunch of different options in here. Uh, you have exterior and interior cavity. If you hold down control, uh, you're not going to get any more information on that, but essentially it's going to look at your outside and inside edges and you can do them both if you want to. So you can turn both of these on. You're going to see when you do both, it, uh, thicken, it has a, an effect of thickening up that line. But uh, of course you can do interior cavity, you can just do external cavity, or you can do both. And then this outline thickness is going to allow you to make that line even thicker. So we'll go ahead and set that to two. And just like we were mentioning before, if you wanted to do more like a pencil sketch, uh, this is more like an ink sketch. And you can see if you go back here to modifiers, this outline noise is set to uh, 0.25. So there's a little bit of noise in that edge. If you make that zero, you're going to see you're getting a very nice, consistent line. In fact, we take that back down to one. You're getting a very, very nice, what looks like a very mechanical ink drawing. However, if you make that a little bit thicker, you make this, you back this black color off, maybe make some dark grays, and then you go into the modifiers and you crank up that noise. This will give you more of a pencil drawing look. And the outline fall off is very similar to the material mixer depth where you're grabbing, uh, if you crank this up, you're basically gonna get outlined edges. And if you crank this down, you're gonna get more internal edges. So kind of play with this and determine how much of that interior detail or how much of that interior edges you wanna capture, or if you just wanna capture just the outlines, or if you wanna capture a lot of that interior detail, you can kind of use this to dial in essentially how many features you want to be represented with an outline. All right, let's add a new filter here. So we're gonna click on F3, we're gonna turn this on. Uh, right now it's set to sharpen, which isn't a bad filter to use depending on the look you're going for, but we're gonna change this from sharpen to outline cavity. Now, outline cavity and outline edge aren't usually two things that I would use together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off outline edge, and now we're just gonna look at outline cavity. Uh, very similar to outline edge, essentially the more uh, negative you make this, the more it's going to pick up that background color. The more forward you make it, the more it's going to pick up that foreground color. So again, we'll just uh, back this off just a little bit. Keep the opacity up. Go in here to modifiers. Again, you have internal and external cavity. You can change that cavity radius. You can add more or less noise. Changing that cavity fall off is going to pick more of those interior edges up. Or you can, you can relegate them to more external. And then this cavity sensitivity once you've dialed in that cavity fall off, it'll go ahead and again, pick up more of those internal or external edges. So again, dial these values in however you'd like, and you can actually compare and contrast these if you want to. So again, you can turn this one off, and then you can turn your outline edge on, and then you can turn your outline edge off and turn this on, and you can kind of see which one's gonna give you a better result. According to the documentation, the outline edge is better for detecting curvature on the surface of your model. So you can see it's picking up a little bit more information, uh, a little bit better than, say, your outline edge. And of course, you can use these together if you want to kind of mix and match these things. Or if you want to do something interesting like, say, drop your outline cavity to a pure black and then drop the opacity down, you can kind of dial in a little bit of sharpness in those interior edges if you want to, or, you know, change the blending mode, uh, whatever kind of effect you're going for.